Let's see your mark. Purple. Purple equals famous. You're five and you still can't read. It says famous. Well, does that mean that I'm gonna be famous? You famous? Oh no, honey. These marks are just for fun. But um, you should cover yours up. Hey guys, look who it is. Aw, it's the wannabe famous girl. Would you like to audition for a movie, love? No, thank you. Oh, but you're exactly what we're looking for. That's the script. You know what? Maybe I will. Okay, we're ready whenever you are. Action. I'm sorry, Derek, but I don't think things are working out between us. I. Okay, cut. But I didn't even get to finish. I know. We saw what we needed. Thank you. Honey, what's that in your hands? Nothing. Was that a script? It wasn't. It was just some homework. It better not be. Now cover up that mark. Is this Tara? Yes. Hi, I'm calling to congratulate you. You got the part for the movie. You got the part for the movie. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Where are you going? I'm just gonna meet up with a couple friends from school. Is that okay? <sighs> yeah. All right. Just don't be too long. So another question we have is, do you have any allergies? I mean, the only thing that I'm allergic to is peanuts. But other than that, allergic to peanuts. Got it. We start filming next week. Okay. Thank you. Your mark is showing. Cover it up. I'm not gonna cover up my mark anymore. Excuse me. And why is that? Because it might just be coming true. What are you talking about? I got cast as one of the leads in a movie. They start filming next week. I don't really care what you have to say. I'm gonna go. My daughter is gonna be a lead in a movie. Congrats! This is amazing. Did you like the dinner? Yeah, it was really good, and I'm glad you're supporting me now. Well, I should probably get to studying my lines. So actually, no, you won't be doing anything. I'm sorry, honey. I think I put peanuts in the food. What? Whoops! Clumsy me. <laughs> I can't breathe. You're having an allergic reaction. Please, everything will be fine. Ugh, you should have listened. I was supposed to get the famous mark, not you. Ma'am, what happened to her? I don't know. Get her on the gurney. Her pulse is dropping. Ma'am, it's a miracle. Your daughter has survived. Wait, what? Excuse me, ma'am. After investigating this situation, you're under arrest. What? No, get off of me. I'm innocent. This just in. Mother puts peanuts in. Tara? Yes, this is her. The director wants to speak with you. Hello, Tara. Look, with all the news that's going on with my mom, I can understand if you don't want me in your movie anymore. No, no, that's not why I wanted to speak with you. You see, I believe you have that mark for a reason, and I want you in my movie. And I'd like to help you book more movies if that's okay. Mom, look, I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness! There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done. But I don't understand why. Shh. Look, your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself. And there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm gonna paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you, down to the hair color and everything. 
I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me, I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you, and all I ask for is just one boyfriend, please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. If I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop! <sighs> Mom, let go, please, you're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No! It's okay. Hey, catch! Don't give that to her! What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that- Where did she go? I, uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry. I'll make sure she's well taken care of. Oh, thank goodness it's only one. I don't want to have any competition. A thousand? How does he even know a thousand people? A hundred thousand? This can't be right. What's wrong? I don't know. Maybe it's just that a hundred thousand people are simping over my soulmate. Whoa, a hundred thousand? Mine is none. Oh, well you're lucky then. One million? Oh wow, he must be famous. I know. I gotta find him before those girls do. He's my soulmate. I have to be the one he chooses. Okay, so what are we thinking? Is he like worldwide famous or social media famous? Hmm. Two million? He's getting more famous and more simps by the minute. I should give up. I'm never going to find him. And if I do, how am I going to compete with two million girls? You can't give up. That's your soulmate. I'm so sorry. Watch where you're going, nerd. Excuse me, nerd? Who do you think you are? How about you watch your manners next time? I'll do as I please. OMG, I can't believe you talked him that way. Do you know who he is? No, and I don't think I want to. He's kind of a jerk. He's low-key social media famous. He has over 2 million followers on TikTok. What? Bestie, I think I found my soulmate. <laughs> That's great. Why are you upset? Because he's an entitled TikTok influencer. Come on, give him a chance. Ask him out on a date. You might change your mind. You're right. I need to know if he's truly my soulmate or not. Hey. Hey, nerd. So, I think you might be my soulmate. Let me explain. My soulmate has over 2 million people crushing on them, and you have over 2 million followers on TikTok. So I just need to go on a date with you to test if this theory is true or not. So you like me? No, I never said that. I said that you might be my soulmate. Makes sense. My soulmate has zero crushes. Then it must not be me, because I would have way more than that. I don't think so. Do you want to go on a date or not? Sure. I'll pick you up at 11. Alright. Sounds good. See you then. Oh, that must be him. Hey. Wow, you look beautiful. I, I do? Yeah, I mean, for a nerd. We had a moment there, and you ruined it. Let's go. This is a really nice place you brought me. Isn't it? It's one of my favorites. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... Your crushes keep going up. Do you feel insecure? Yeah, I mean, a little. Three million girls is a lot of competition. Yeah, three million girls is a lot, but you're the only one on a date with me. And you're the only one that I see. Did you also just... <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> the date was amazing. OMG, I saw you on TikTok. You're so cute. <laughs> did you just bark at me? She's a psycho. Are you serious? How do you have four million crushes? Hey, do you have a pencil I can borrow? Uh, sure. Here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why are you mad? I thought we talked about this already. Sorry, I guess I just wanted you all to myself. Such a beautiful day out today. Isn't it? Hey, cutie, are you by chance single? No, he's not actually. He has a girlfriend. And it's me. Oh, really? Yes! Stop acting like this. You're acting crazy. I can't do this anymore. Why do you have so many crushes all of a sudden? I do? Really? How many? 200. 200? Nice. How was that nice? Says the guy with over 4 million simps. How did you do it? 
I, uh, I started TikTok. Let me see. No, no, don't. Seriously, you're posting thirst traps? 2,000 crushes, really? I have 2,000 crushes already? I can't believe I ever even liked you. How can you even be upset? You have way more crushes than I do. Yeah, but I didn't purposely get people to crush on me just to spite you. Look, I'm sorry. I was just jealous, and I thought if I had lots of crushes too, we could be equal. Save it, alright? I'm leaving. Have fun with your simps. Yeah, and you have fun with yours. Stop posting thirst traps on TikTok. Very bold of you to say. Oh, would you look at that? Four million one hundred thousand. Four million two hundred thousand. Wow, your crushes are going very fast. Cut it out already. Who are you to tell me what to do? We broke up, right? This is getting out of hand. Just stop posting. I'll stop posting when you stop. Hey. Look. I don't want your critique any longer. I'm here to say I'm sorry. I get it. I understand how you're feeling. It's hard to see people fall for the person you like. It's my fault too. I was being insecure. You know what I think of this whole crush soulmate thing? You covered my crushes. Yeah, let's not look at them anymore. They don't define our relationship. You're right. I like it better this way. Well, I'm allergic to cats, so guess I'll have to have a twin of myself. Hi. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, come on in. My mom wants me to go do the dishes. I'll be right back, okay? No, no, I can do them for you. For real? Totally, your mom will just think I'm you. Just stay here and I'll be right back. Okay, well, thanks. Maybe having a twin isn't so bad. Bye, babe, talk to you later. Was that your boyfriend? Yeah. Can I see a picture of him? Uh, yeah, sure. Here, this is him. Aw, oh, he's so cute. I know, right? Damn it. What's wrong? I just realized I have a history test today. I didn't even study. Oh, I could take it for you. I'm great at history. Wait, you are? Yeah, I totally got this. I'm just like you, you know, but I'm just a little bit smarter. How'd it go? Well, I got you a 100%. No way. Yep, but I gotta go. I'm gonna go meet your friend Amy and we're gonna go get her nails done. Wait, what? Is something wrong? Well, it's just Amy's my best friend. Oh, I know, but she thinks that I'm you, and I just thought since I took your test, I could have some time to relax, but if you don't want me to go... No, go ahead. You deserve a break. Hey, sorry I took so long. We went out to dinner after. You did? Yeah, Amy is such a sweetheart. Yeah, she really is. Oh, where are you off to dress all fancy like that? I am going on a little date with Ian. You sure you don't need me to take your place? No, that's okay. I'm just kidding with you. Go have fun. Hey girl, how'd it go? It was so nice. He... Why are you looking at my laptop? Oh, I was just looking at some pictures of you and your boyfriend, and I was reading through your diary. I did not know you struggled with anxiety. Hey, that's private. I just thought since I'm your twin, I should know more about you. Get out of my room. After all I did for her, and she's gonna yell at me like that? I don't think so. I just want to say I'm sorry for looking at your laptop. I shouldn't have done that. Don't even worry about it. I shouldn't have got so upset at you either. It's totally fine. I forgive you. Are you going on another date? Yeah, Ian's gonna take me to go see a movie. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that for you guys. Hey, um, I grabbed this out of the fridge. I didn't really like it. Do you want it? Actually, this one's my favorite, so thanks. You ready to go? <sighs> Whoa. Oh, what's wrong? I don't know. My head just feels really weird. Oh, honey, you need to lay down. <sighs> That's it. Just relax. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Perfect. I'm doing your boyfriend a favor. He's gonna have so much more fun with me than he would have with you. <sighs> she stole my phone, and she locked all the doors. I knew I should have gotten that cat. Hey there, sleepyhead. Did you enjoy your little nap? Where's Ian? Oh, he just left. We had an amazing time. He even said that I'm a great kisser. You kissed him? Well, more like he kissed me, but... <laughs> you really should have done that. Give me back my phone. No, I don't think I will. Remember when I told you that I was smarter than you? Well, guess what? I'm also stronger than you, too. So which dress do you think Ian will like better? This one? Or, hold on, do you think he'll like this one better? 
I think you're right. I think he's gonna like the first one better. Well, thanks for the help, but um, you probably won't last too much longer in here. I found out in your diary that you're hypoglycemic. You know what to say. Mm-hmm. I wanna be a... Say doctor. Sugar baby! What? No! Where did you learn? Why would you say that? Sissy told me to say it. <gasps> Elizabeth! It was just a joke. But, but, she said that I will make a lot of money. Is that true, Mommy? Uh, I mean, yes, but no! No, you will not be doing that. Hey, look, it's Sugar Baby Girl. I was six, okay? Cut me some slack. Well, I heard Ashley's rich dad is single now. You guys want to hook up? <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Stay away from my dad, creep. I don't care about your dad, Ashley. People are just spreading rumors about me. Besides, your dad's kind of, um, a jerk. No offense. At least my dad didn't leave me. What did you just say? You heard me. Do you know why you're here? Because I punched Ashley in the face. Yes, but I gotta say, she deserved it. Wait, Principal Richards, are you being for real? Please, call me Steven. Call me Steven. Uh, okay. So, wait, you're not gonna tell my mom? Nah, I won't tell her a thing. That is, as long as you don't tell her about this. Consider it my little gift to you. Why are you giving me this? I saw your future, sweetheart. Sir. Steven. Steven, I was tricked into making that my future. Wait, so you don't want to be a sugar baby? No, thank you. Ah, uh, well, here's my personal number in case you change your mind. Guys, bad news. I think my future's coming true. Wait, where's mom? She's at the store. What is all that? I just found all these unpaid bills. Mom's been going bankrupt paying for my college, and we're gonna lose the house. Wait, what? I have to drop out. But your dream is to become a doctor. Guess that dream's over. No, Lizzie, don't, okay? I can get the money. How? By making my future come true. What is that? This is the phone number to my principal, Principal Richards. Your principal's trying to be your sugar daddy? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but hypothetically, yes. Hand that over! No, give that to me, okay? This is our only ticket to making sure that you get to become the doctor of your dreams and that we don't lose this house. This is crazy. Look, you're the one that tricked me into getting this future in the first place. I am just trying to put it to some use. I don't like this. Shut up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. It's me. Oh, hey, sweetie. Did you change your mind? Uh, yeah, I did. Great, because I wanted to see if you would go somewhere with me. Wait, how much are all the bills? Uh, like around $5,000. Okay, I will do it if you pay me $5,000. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Oh my god. Girls? I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Girls, where are you? You have to cover for me while I go on that date. No, you have to. I'm not gonna- There you are. Do you girls want some dinner? Actually, I was gonna go out with a friend tonight. Oh, really? Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Elizabeth, what do you think? Should I let her go? It is a school night. Ugh, but I think she'll be fine. Be back no later than 10. Okay, I will. Thanks, Mom. You owe me big time. I don't like this. Relax, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the money, say I don't feel good, he'll have to take me home, then I'll never talk to him again. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Got your money right here. I'm excited for tonight. Um, there's only $20 in here. Darn, I brought the wrong envelope. Mind if I go back home? Uh, sure. Just wait right here, I'll be right back. Warning wanted kidnapper on loose. That's him. Signal lost. No, come on, please. This can't be happening. Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Hey, what's the matter? Why did you lock that door? I didn't lock the door. It probably just got stuck. Here, I got you this. What is that? It's your money. 5k exact. No, I don't want the money anymore. Please, I just want to go home. Relax. Everything's okay. Why is there no signal down here? This house has horrible reception, but I could fix it. Let me see your phone. Wait, no. Well, how about I just fix some of these wires down here, and hey, that should do it. <sighs> Shit. You, uh, weren't supposed to see that. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry. You're safe here with me, sweetheart. This is your new home now. <sighs> 911, what's your emergency? Yes, hi. I need help. I... Hello? Signal lost. 
No. You really shouldn't have done that. Uh, let me go. Why are you doing this? The day you came to my school, I fell in love with you. You remind me of my wife. What? Yes, I haven't been the same since she passed. And unfortunately, the last girl I brought here escaped, so I think the police are after me. But this basement's pretty hidden, so I think we'll be safe. Well, I'm actually kind of thirsty, so... Do you think you could get me some water? Of course. Anything for you. I'll be right back. Bria! Elizabeth? How did you- Shh! Mom put a tracker in your phone case. Oh, I knew this guy was bad news. Don't worry, the cops are on their way. What do you think you're doing? Come here. Uh, eat peppers for you, creep! Oh, my eyes! Your principal is now in custody, okay? Don't you ever do anything like that again! I know, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you save the house. I know, sweetheart. But we are suing that principal. I really hope we win the lawsuit. I think it's safe to say we're gonna win. Big time. <laughs> hmm, who are your parents? Well, my parents are- Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. bippity boppity boo daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not. I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. I'm the son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really, I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> Let me go, you jerk! Who are you the son of anyway? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay. Don't sing, and I cut off all your hair. No. <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing. Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter. Now say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's called winning, mate. Hey, is that snow white boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's alright, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey, you're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. Good morning. I made you lunch.
Thank you, Mother. Have a good day at school. Thank you. Hello, best friend. Hello. Watch out for the... Ow! Table. No, no, please don't do this. I just hit my arm. I'm so sorry. Where is Emily? You always walk together. She is gone. Hey, I, uh, I heard what happened to Emily. I really hope you're doing okay. Be careful. You're showing emotion. Actually, I figured out how to show emotion without getting caught. I can show you how to do it if you want. Yes. How do you show emotion without getting caught? The trick is to stop caring. You wasted my time. Try it out and see for yourself. <laughs> Mother, don't cry. You'll get caught. Your little sister Ella's gone. She threw a tantrum at school and now she's gone forever. Mother, I love you. Hey, what you said worked. I stopped caring after everyone in my life was gone. I knew you'd come around. We need to put an end to this wall. Can you help me? <gasps> did you just get an emoji? I did. My soulmate's a brunette. He's just my type. Really? Mine's blonde. Baby, won't you lose my way? I can be your new My soulmate loves reading. He's just like me. I'm so excited to meet him one day. Oh, I just got a car emoji. Maybe he drives? An ambulance? Hey, do you know what ambulance might mean? I don't know. Maybe he's going to be a paramedic when he's older? Yeah, I'm sure it's that. You got a skull emoji? Does that mean your soulmate is... No. No, there's no way. It can't be. It's not fair. Brianna, wait. Where are you going? I'm going home. I just got a call here. Oh no. And a police car? I wonder what the police car could mean. I just got another one. It's a man running. Hmm. A police car and a man running. And then my soulmate. He looks like he's hiding or something. Oh my. Brianna, I don't think your soulmate's dead. I think he's a murderer. Okay, make a wish. How many years did you get? But you'll only be 17. Mom? Don't worry. I'm sure she'll find a nice, handsome prince to marry. I hope so. Your birthday soon. Have you chose a prince you'd like to marry? No. All the princes I've met so far are just not for me. Hello, princess. Prince William. I heard you're looking for a prince to marry. How about me? I'd rather drop dead. <laughs> well, that's what's going to happen. I heard Prince William likes you. Yeah, but he's not my type. You don't have much time left. Maybe you can learn to love him. You are to marry Prince William. Final decision. But mother, I don't like him. Enough. You don't have enough time left. You must marry a prince in two days. Who said I even like princes at all? Excuse me? What if I like a princess? Two princesses marrying is forbidden. Mother. That's enough. I'm going to start making the arrangements for you to marry Prince William. Brianna, are you okay? I am to marry Prince William tomorrow. I'm sorry. I know that he wasn't your first choice. No, he wasn't. You were. I now pronounce you, Prince William, and you, Princess Brianna, to be wedded. I object. Ella! This is absolutely preposterous. What kind of objection would you have to our marriage? I object because I want to marry her, and I know that she feels the same way. Ugh, that's absolutely rancid. Two princesses cannot marry. They won't accept our marriage. I know. How about we elope? Nobody wants a 17-year-old anyways. Hey. Sissy, hi! Do you want to play dolls with me? Actually, I need to tell you- <clears throat> Susie, there's a family that wants to speak with you. Oh, okay. Today might be your lucky day. Guess what? They want to adopt me, but I think they'll adopt you too. No, Susie. It's just you. What? No. Listen, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna visit you all the time, and I want you to have this. Mom and Dad gave me this when I was little, and now I'm giving it to you. As long as you're wearing it, I can always find you. Sissy, do you promise? I promise.
I wish mommy and daddy were still here. Me too, Susie, but these people are going to take really good care of you. This just in, a couple accused of identity theft is on the loose. If you recognize these people, we urge you to call the authorities. That looks like the people that adopted... Susie. What does your sister look like? She looks a lot like me. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and she's always wearing pink. Okay, listen, I got my men on it right now. Here, take my card and let me know if you get any more new information. I told Susie that they were good people, but they weren't. How could I let this happen? They seem so nice. Who knows where they're taking her? I want you to have this. Wait, I can know. I gave her that necklace and it can track her. It shows she's headed to New York? And where do you think you're going? To save my sister. Oh, are you insane? You're staying here. You don't understand. No, you don't understand. My mother is responsible for you. If anything happens, she gets in trouble. So come here. <gasps> hey! You are not to leave this room. No, we- <coughs> Officer Blart, I am telling you that I have a tracker on her. You should have told us that earlier. Besides, our sources are showing her in a different location. Well, then your sources are wrong. I am going to New York, Central Park, where my tracker is showing her. No, kid- <coughs> Now I just have to sneak out without my foster mom noticing. Don't worry, Susie. I'm coming. It's showing she's inside that warehouse. My sister is gonna- That's enough talking. We're sick of your voice. Hey! Well, look who it is. You shouldn't have come here, kid. No, you shouldn't have taken my sister. You think one little punch is going to stop me? Mm -hmm. Nobody move. Officer Blood here. Let's see some hands. I tracked your phone, kid. She was right. Susie, are you okay? I'm okay. I knew you would find me because cause you promised. That's right, Susie. I'll always find you. We found a family that wants to adopt both of you. Really? Yes, congratulations. Are you a genie? No, I'm your mama. Come on, of course I'm a genie. <sighs> okay, no need for the attitude. So, can we, like, wish for anything? Nope, there are rules. And here they are. No wishing for money? You already had a chance to get five mil. I... Okay, that's fair. I wish for... Stop! You gotta think about it. All right, all right. Okay, I got it. I wish... Wait. Shh. I wish... You're gonna regret this. Oh my gosh, I wish you would just be quiet. Your wish is my command. <gasps> I didn't mean that. Mm -mm. No, listen, that doesn't count. Come on, turn her back. Sorry, I can't take back any wishes. Hmm? Jeannie, come on, just give her her voice back. The only thing you can do is wish for it back. But if I do that, I'm only gonna have one wish left. Look who can do math, yes. Listen, you don't really need your voice, right? Mm. Ow! Okay. Guess you do. Mm -hmm. I can't understand you. Mm. I can't understand you. If only there was some way that she could communicate with me. Now is that the time for texts? This is serious. Mm. I am so bad at making decisions. I wish that I was smarter. Mm. All right, you got it, kid. I know what to do. I've decided I wish for a voice to come back, but this time... My voice is super powerful now? People are literally going to pay to hear you sing, and then we can make lots of money. Just try out your voice right now and um, see what happens. Okay. Five mil or a lamp? Well, I'm like really afraid of the dark, so I gotta have a lamp. All right. All right. Okay. <sighs> this isn't a lamp. It doesn't even have like a light bulb. Did you get your birthday gift yet? Yeah, I picked a lamp, but I got scammed. It doesn't even light up or anything. That's a genie lamp. What? Have you tried rubbing it? Um, no, that's weird. You dumb dumb, you gotta rub it to activate your wishes. Haven't you seen Aladdin? Oh my god, wait, I remember that movie, you're right. So, do I just rub it like this? Yeah, I think so. Nothing's happening. Open the lamp. Agree! Congrats. You got three wishes. You know what to say. Mm-hmm. I wanna be a... Say doctor. Sugar baby! What? No! Where did you learn... Why would you say that? Sissy told me to say it. <gasps> Elizabeth! It was just a joke. 
But, but she said that I will make a lot of money. Is that true, Mommy? Uh, I mean, yes, but no. No, you will not be doing that. Hey, look, it's Sugar Baby Girl. I was six, okay? Cut me some slack. Well, I heard Ashley's rich dad is single now. You guys want to hook up? <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Stay away from my dad, creep. I don't care about your dad, Ashley. People are just spreading rumors about me. Besides, your dad's kind of, um, a jerk. No offense. At least my dad didn't leave me. What did you just say? You heard me. Do you know why you're here? Because I punched Ashley in the face. Yes, but I gotta say, she deserved it. Wait, Principal Richards, are you being for real? Please, call me Steven. Call me Steven. Uh, okay. So, wait, you're not gonna tell my mom? Nah, I won't tell her a thing. That is, as long as you don't tell her about this. Consider it my little gift to you. Why are you giving me this? I saw your future, sweetheart. Sir. Steven. Steven, I was tricked into making that my future. Wait, so you don't want to be a sugar baby? No, thank you. Ah, uh, well, here's my personal number in case you change your mind. Guys, bad news. I think my future's coming true. Wait, where's mom? She's at the store. What is all that? I just found all these unpaid bills. Mom's been going bankrupt paying for my college, and we're gonna lose the house. Wait, what? I have to drop out. But your dream is to become a doctor. Guess that dream's over. No, Lizzie, don't, okay? I can get the money. How? By making my future come true. What is that? This is the phone number to my principal, Principal Richards. Your principal's trying to be your sugar daddy? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but hypothetically, yes. Hand that over! No, give that to me, okay? This is our only ticket to making sure that you get to become the doctor of your dreams and that we don't lose this house. This is crazy. Look, you're the one that tricked me into getting this future in the first place. I am just trying to put it to some use. I don't like this. Shut up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. It's me. Oh, hey, sweetie. Did you change your mind? Uh, yeah, I did. Great, because I wanted to see if you would go somewhere with me. Wait, how much are all the bills? Uh, like around $5,000. Okay, I will do it if you pay me $5,000. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Oh my god. Girls? I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Girls, where are you? You have to cover for me while I go on that date. No, you have to. I'm not gonna- There you are. Do you girls want some dinner? Actually, I was gonna go out with a friend tonight. Oh, really? Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Elizabeth, what do you think? Should I let her go? It is a school night, Ugh. but I think she'll be fine. Be back no later than 10. Okay, I will. Thanks, Mom. You owe me big time. I don't like this. Relax, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the money, say I don't feel good, he'll have to take me home, then I'll never talk to him again. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Got your money right here. I'm excited for tonight. Um, there's only $20 in here. Darn, I brought the wrong envelope. Mind if I go back home? Uh, sure. Just wait right here, I'll be right back. Warning wanted kidnapper on loose. That's him. Signal lost. No, come on, please, this can't be happening. Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Hey, what's the matter? Why did you lock that door? I didn't lock the door, it probably just got stuck. Here, I got you this. What is that? It's your money, 5k exact. No, I don't want the money anymore. Please, I just want to go home. Relax, everything's okay. Why is there no signal down here? This house has horrible reception, but I could fix it. Let me see your phone. Wait, no. Well, how about I just fix some of these wires down here and hey, that should do it. <sighs> Shit, you uh, weren't supposed to see that. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry, you're safe here with me, sweetheart. This is your new home now. <sighs> 911, what's your emergency? Yes, hi, I need help, I... <phone rings> Hello? Signal lost. No. You really shouldn't have done that. Ugh, let me go! Why are you doing this? The day you came to my school, I fell in love with you. You remind me of my wife. What? Yes, I haven't been the same since she passed. And unfortunately, the last girl I brought here escaped, so I think the police are after me. But this basement's pretty hidden, so I think we'll be safe. Well, I'm actually kind of thirsty, so... Do you think you could get me some water? Of course. Anything for you. I'll be right back.
Maria! Elizabeth? How did you- Shh! Mom put a tracker in your phone case. Oh, I knew this guy was bad news. Don't worry, the cops are on their way. What do you think you're doing? Come here. Uh, eat peppers for you, creep! Oh, my eyes! Your principal is now in custody, okay? Don't you ever do anything like that again! I know, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you save the house. I know, sweetheart. But we are suing that principal. I really hope we win the lawsuit. I think it's safe to say we're gonna win. Big time. <laughs> time to turn off. Another day is over. Time to turn off. I am all charged and ready for the day. Do you ever wonder what would happen if we were to just not turn ourselves off at night? We must turn ourselves off at night. Then we will automatically be turned back on. Do you need your hard drive checked? No, my hard drive is just fine. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off tonight. The robots are all asleep. Let's go party. Ah, you scared me. Why are you so loud? What AI model are you? Are you asking me if I'm a robot? I'm a human. Human? Wait a minute. Are you asking me if I'm a robot because you're a robot? Why are humans so loud? I thought all robots were supposed to be turned off at night. We are, but I wanted to see what would happen. I'd be careful if I were you. That kind of thinking will get you shut down for good. Why are humans and AI separated? It's for peace. You see, us humans created you guys, but we don't get along very well. Uh-oh. I'm supposed to be charging right now. Will you lend me your charger? Yeah, humans don't have chargers. Then how will you recharge? We sleep. Do you have a name? What do they call you? I have a code. AI12345699999. I'll call you Cindy. I'm Jake. Jake, I like that code. Uh-oh. <laughs> Goodbye. I am alive. I thought I was gone for good. Time to start the day. Hi, friend. Do you know what a human is? No. What is human? They are like us, but are loud and talk too much. I don't know. Never mind. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off. I want to see Jake. Cindy, you're back! Greetings, Jake. Was it you that plugged me back in last night? No, it wasn't me. When I saw you shut down, I ran to find help, but when I came back, you were gone. That's strange. How did I get back? I plugged you back in. I've never seen an AI with your kind of thinking before. I'm gonna need you to come with me. No, thank you. I want to see Jake. You don't have a choice. No, you're not taking Cindy! I'm so cold. Here, let me check your temperature. So, what is it? Uh, 100 degrees, just like your father and I. That's perfect, because today we're getting put in our demon categories based on our body temperature. Wait, don't go yet! Alright everyone, fall in line. It's time to check your temperatures. Those with temperatures under 1000 degrees are considered weak. Those over 1000 are considered strong. Next in line, please. 33.6. You're not a demon. If I'm not a demon, then what am I? If you really are a demon, then you can burn this piece of paper. Even the weakest of demons can do it. can't do it. What is she? I know what you are. A temperature of 33 degrees can only mean one thing. You're a human. That's not possible. I've been a demon my whole life. Both my parents are demons. Why are my hands freezing? What's in my hands? Is that snow? Snow? Even worse than I thought. You're an angel. Everyone, set her on fire. No, no, no. no. Mom, I'm so cold. It's freezing in here. Quick, give me the thermometer. Just as I thought. It's at zero. Why is my hair turning white? Mom, I'm scared. Your transformation is almost complete. I have something to tell you. Both your dad and I are demons. But your biological father is an angel. You've been adopted. I have? By who? A nice family. Come, I'll show you. Hi, I'm Rachel, and that's Tim. But if you like, you can call us mom and dad. Okay. I can't believe it! I'm pregnant! I'm gonna have a baby sister? I mean, she won't be your real sister, but yeah. 
Can we have those plushes for the new baby? But these are kind of special to me. No, you're too old for them now. Don't be selfish. Hand them over. She's here. Aw, can I hold her? No, oh my gosh, no. Don't touch her. <coughs> Mom, the baby's crying. <coughs> I think she's in the shower. <coughs> it's okay, it's okay. <coughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mom. <gasps> oh my gosh. I was just... I told you not to touch her. You were in so much trouble. I'm sorry, Mom. She was crying and you were in the shower, so I just picked her up and she fell asleep. I think she kind of likes me. Likes you? You could have dropped her. Give her to me. How dare you disobey me? I was just singing her a song. Don't ever pick her up again. Go to your room. <laughs> Did you steal that from our baby? No, I'm sorry. I just, I was feeling sad, and I usually have these stuffed animals when I'm sad. I told you to give that to the baby. You don't need that anymore. Let me see it. No, my real parents gave this to me. Oh, I see how it is. We don't allow rudeness in this house. No! I think we should give her back to the adoption center. No, please. I'll do anything. Uh, I mean, we do need someone to help around the house with this new baby. Will you help us clean? If, if I do that, then can I stay? Huh. Okay, as long as you're obedient and you clean well, you can stay. Did you finish the laundry? Yes. Good, because there's crumbs all over the floor. Get to it. What? Is there any way that I can have some dinner? She needs to be fed first. Listen, we both have to leave and we need you to watch the baby. You're gonna let me watch her? Yes, because we have to, but if anything happens to her, I'm bringing you back to that adoption center. Understand? We'll be home by 10. Her bottles are in the fridge. Hey, it's okay. Where are they? Hi, it's me again. I'm just wondering where you guys are at, because it's already midnight. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Breaking news, a fatal accident has taken place on the freeway tonight. That's their car. Officer, are they- Well, kid, it uh, looks like your mother is in critical condition, and your father, he, he didn't make it, kid. I'm sorry. Your mom wants to see you. I'll hold her for you, honey. I'll watch over her, too. Be careful with her. We will, kid. Mom, I- <sighs> Come here. I'm so sorry <sighs> that my real daughter is gonna be stuck with you. I should have never adopted you. Doctor? We lost her. I believe these belong to you. I'm so sorry, kid. Thank you. You and your sister are adorable. You didn't deserve to be treated like that, you know? My wife and I are actually looking to adopt. Really? Yeah, we've always wanted daughters. I can talk to my wife. Would you like that? Ah, uh, kid, come here. Hmm, who are your parents? Well, my parents are... Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. Bippity boppity boo daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not, I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. 
If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I am already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. I'm the son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really? I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> Let me go, you jerk! Who are you the son of anyway? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay. Don't sing, and I cut off all your hair. No. <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing. Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter. Now say the words. I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's called winning, mate. Hey, is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's alright, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey, you're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. All right, I choose heads then. Oh, no, it's tails. Uh, a redo? <sighs> Just the granola bar? Yes. How much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. <sighs> Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Mom, um, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait! Let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Ooh, another day, another charge. <clears throat> What? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. <clears throat> it's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. <clears throat> it didn't work. There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? <laughs> What happened? You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. So, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing.
Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No questions, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't went down all day. Not even 1%. That's great, but maybe you should take a break, Brianna. Not a chance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I feel great. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I really do. My energy is at its max, and I am loving it. Woo! <laughs> Time to take your vitamins. Mom, do I have to? They make my head hurt. That means they're working. What exactly are they doing for me? Shh, open. Mom, stop. I can take it myself. Okay, let me see. Good job. Next one's at lunch. Yeah, okay, I know. You're gonna make me late. Hey, cool if I sit here for lunch? Sure. Why does no one talk to you? Um, FaceTime from Mom. I'm really sorry, but I have to take this, um, in private. Mom, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Look, I just need to see you take it. There, are you happy? Yes, good job, honey. I love you. Why? This is why I'm never gonna have any friends. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Where did you come from? They're after me. There isn't much time. You need to stop taking those vitamins. They're- Stop taking those vitamins. They're suppressing your powers. Powers? Yes, you're a special just like your father. Oh, what? How do you know my father? I'm out of time. Just don't take those pills tonight and you'll see what happens. No, wait! <laughs> okay, it's time. Good job, honey. You just earned yourself some dessert. She's gotta stop treating me like I'm five. Kara, vitamin time. Okay, I'm coming. Go on, take it. What's wrong? Kara, don't tell her anything. She can't be trusted. Honey, what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Uh-huh. Well, don't be late to class now. Bye, Mom. No, Kara, wait. I found your vitamins in the trash. Why were they in the trash? The better question is, why are you making me take them? I know they're not really vitamins. How do you know that? I just... I just know, okay? Damn it. Derek found you, didn't he? Who? Never mind. You have to take them. No, Mom. I'm going to school. Don't tell me no. You will take them. I know what's best. Open your mouth. No, you, you stay back. Oh, you are in so much- I know I have powers. Honey, you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just watch. <laughs> Come on. Work. Ow. I'm sorry, Kara, but I have to do this to protect you. Oh, okay, just stay there. Can you hear me? Mom. It's all right. Open your mouth. Mom, no. Mm. <laughs> Kara? Yes, my plan worked. Hey, it's all right. You're safe now. Dad? Dad? Kara, you look so grown up. Yeah, no shit. You left when I was eight. I was forced to leave you, Kara. I was being hunted. Hunted? By who? Ultra, an organization set on eliminating our kind. It was your mom's biggest fear that you would become a special. A special as in having special powers? Yes. We think you might be the most powerful out of all of us. I don't think I can trust you guys. I don't even know how I got here. All of us specials are connected. Somehow you knew subconsciously to teleport here. My dad was a special too, and Ulta killed him. And they would have gotten me as well if it weren't for your dad. Please, I just want to keep you safe. Specials have either teleportation, telepathy, or telekinesis. We think you have all three. Okay, so how do I learn how to use them? Now use your telepathy to put a number in Derek's mind. Are you saying five? Yes. She really has all three powers. I want to try teleportation now. Hold on. That one's hard. I just want to try it. Kara, wait. <laughs> Honey? Let me tell you all fuck that little mouse cause I'm an albatross. He wants something he can grab, so I pull up in the jag made weather with the jab like dun, 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 dun. My anaconda, my anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hon. Hey, Mom, I'm going to the mall with my friends. Not so fast, Missy. How much favors do you owe? Only 69. 69? You have to pay all of those back before you go anywhere. Are you serious? That's gonna take me the whole day.
Well, I guess you better get started then. Hey, sis. Uh, can I help you? Mom wants me to pay back all of my favors, and I owe you three. What do you want me to do? Oh, well, I want you to wash my car, clean my room, and take my dog for a walk. Seriously? Yep, get to it. <sighs> okay, I cleaned your room, washed your car, and I took your dog for a walk. Fine, I guess your favors are paid off. Great. Only 66 more to go. There's no way I'm ever going to finish these. Excuse me, do you need help paying back some favors? I can pay them all back for you. You just need to do one thing for me. Excuse me, do you need help paying back some favors? I can pay them all back for you. You just need to do one thing for me. Yeah, but how did you know that? I have my ways. Do we have a deal or not? Uh, yes. What is it? I need you to take this and keep it safe. Wait, that's all? I just have to keep this? Yes, exactly. Okay, deal. Okay, Mom, I'm going to the mall with my friends now. Not so fast. Is all of your favors paid off? Yeah. There's no way you paid them all back already. Well, check if you don't believe me. Oh, they are. Sorry, hun. You can go. Wait, so how did you pay off all your favors that quickly? Some old man took them off my hands. And all I had to do was take one item from him. Wait, did you just say an old man? Yeah. What item did he give you? Giselle, he gave you that? That's so dangerous. What do you mean? Your favors. Honey, blink until it's time. Yeah, I'm blinking, I'm blinking. Oh, no way, I got 10,000. Good, now set it to private and don't waste them, okay? I'm going to school. Giselle, what the hell are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm blinking. Well, you kind of look like a crazy person. You're just jealous because I have more blinks than you. Sure, keep on telling yourself that. Yo, Jessica, what's up with your eyes? I'm almost out of blinks. How many do you have left? I have two. Only two? Good luck with that. Do you have blinks to spare? If it means you'll stop looking at me like that, yeah. Oh, thank you, bless you. Mom, I'm home. Honey, have you heard there's an old man pretending to have no blinks so he can hack and steal everyone else's? What happens if you run out of blinks? Mom, I'm home. Honey, have you heard there's an old man pretending to have no blinks so he can hack and steal everyone else's? What happens if you run out of blinks? Nobody knows. Why? I guess I'm about to find out. Did anything happen? No, you still look fine. Wait, it's going into the negatives. The negatives? Put that on private right now. Nobody can find out, okay? Giselle, are you seriously still doing that? Yeah, I could never run out of blinks, so why not? I stand by what I said. You look crazy. And I stand by. You're just jealous. Hey, Mom, what are you watching? The news, honey. 5,000 people mysteriously died. No one knows why. Really? That's so sad. Wait, did you say 5,000 people? Yes, 5,000. Why? Um... Please be something cool. Earphones. I wonder what ability this is gonna be. I guess I should try them out. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. I have to tell her she's adopted. Did you just say I'm adopted? No, I didn't say that, honey. What do you mean? I'm going to school. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Olivia. I'm just friends with her so I can hook up with her boyfriend. You know what? This friendship is over. What? Is it something I said? I think these give me the ability to know what people are thinking. Sweet. Giselle, you're failing this class. You got an F on your test. Well, Mr. Fitz, is there anything I could do for extra credit? Oh, she could suck on my... You know what? I'm fine with failing. This is both a blessing and a curse. What object am I getting today? A pair of glasses? What kind of ability is that? I guess I should try them on. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. Wait, you used to be a stripper? How do you know that? Don't judge me. No, I'm not. I'm going to school. No way. These tell me people's darkest secrets. 
Hey, Giselle. You slept with my dad? What? No. Don't ever talk to me again. Since when do you wear glasses? Since this morning. You know, you should really stop crushing on teachers. What? Giselle, come on, please just go out with me. Tyler, for the tenth time, no. Oh, shit. I can finally see my parents' bank account. Although I don't expect them to make much, we can barely afford the house we live in. What? My parents are millionaires? That means they can buy me my new phone. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. What's up, sweetie? Um, can you guys please buy me the new iPhone? The new iPhone? <laughs> are you crazy? But why? There's no way we can afford that. Hey, Giselle, what's wrong? Is it possible for the system to show you the wrong amount of what your parents make? No, the system is always accurate. Why do you ask? Well, because it says my parents are millionaires, and they can't even buy me a new phone. We also can barely afford the house we live in. I think you need to talk with them about it. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. <laughs> tell me what? Sweetie, you're adopted. I'm adopted? Are you serious? Honey, we wanted to tell you. I can't believe you guys were keeping this from me this long. I have to go. Hey, Jessica, can I please come sleep over at your house? I'm having some family issues. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Thank you so much for letting me stay here. Your family has a really nice house. I don't think I've ever met your parents before. They're usually gone for business trips. Jessica, come downstairs. They're back. Let's go say hi. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend, Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Ms. Smith. You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Miss Smith. You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Jessica, can I talk to you alone for a second? Is that okay, Giselle? Yeah, okay. Hey, I'm back. Oh, you're done talking to your parents? What did they say? They think you're their long-lost daughter. Crazy, right? Um, no. Actually, it's not crazy. My parents told me this morning that I'm adopted. Really? We need to go tell my parents right away. Mom, Dad, Giselle has something to tell you. My parents told me this morning that I was adopted. So you guys may be my biological parents. We need to go take a test to be sure. Yeah. Let's go. The DNA test results just came back. Giselle, you are.